so section D is about developing your ideas. And so by this point you should have selected some initial ideas and they'll be very rough sketches with annotations and very fast rough prototypes, maybe out of masking tape or plasticine. Once you've then compared those ideas to your design brief, you might find that you need to do more development. Maybe you need to start thinking about how you're going to get that high quality finish or how it's really going to look. And so at this point, we're looking to develop our ideas. Okay, so what sort of things would I be looking for in section D? Well, I'd be looking for better drawings. I'd be looking for more technical drawings, orthographic projection, maybe some front views, some side views to scale with actual measurements. And I might be looking for some isometric projections or some 3D renderings with proper tone and shade to really show a high quality developed version of this concept. I'd be looking for more detailed annotations and notes. And my models would move on from rough prototypes to working prototypes. So maybe they might just be models that demonstrate a finger joint or a down joint. Or maybe they're going to show how something will actually function. And we're still using modelling materials at this point, cardboard, foam board, styrofoam, but it's more detailed, there's much more manufacturing involved, so that we end up with effectively a working prototype in rough materials. And for me, a really good section D won't just do this with one of our ideas, we'll probably explore two or three of our ideas up to that point, at least. Um, this, for example, is a back cow. It's made out of styrofoam, it's made out of foam board and it's just a further development of this comic book stand but it proves the concept. You can put a comic book in this and it shows that it works and it's just been modelled and developed to that next level. So we've developed this idea to a point where we know, yes it meets the brief, yes we understand how it's going to work and we've shown the size and the aesthetic. So that section D really is kind of developing those rough sketches and those rough models into something a bit more tangible that we can focus on. Okay, so here's some examples of section D when it's going quite well. 